I had uh, two different people send me this article here. I'm not going to go through it and read it because it's just same old, same old. Um, 20 years, 700 victims, Southern Baptist sexual abuse spreads to, as leaders resist reforms. It goes down through here and you can get into all this different stuff. Different stories of women coming out saying how they were molested by uh, Southern Baptist pastors. I know people are going to say, well, it's not the same as independent fundamental Baptist. Yeah, but there's plenty of it that goes on in the IFB system. And more and more is going to come out. And ironically, uh, nearly three years ago, right here, May 27, 2016, um, I talked about this. And I said, I'm going to give you a little prophecy. Listen to what I said here. Uh-huh. Yeah. We, we need, need to get, get away, away from these church, church buildings. buildings. I'm going to we'll tell you this right now. now. I'm going to give you a prophecy, prophecy of the future. Uh, the Lord's been revealing this to me more and more, and that is I believe that the devil is going to bring down the remaining King James-only uh, Baptist, Bible Baptist-type buildings, church buildings. I believe they're going to come down. I believe that there already are. Uh, now I go into talking about some things. I was talking about the whole thing of the perversion that I saw in church buildings growing up and how that I've, I've seen so much cover-up over the years, and it's only going to get worse. Um, God's never been for these church buildings. Um, there's no scripture at all to support these things. And like I said in this video nearly three years ago, um, the whole church building concept comes from the pagans. Uh, the Catholics took pagan uh, Greek Parthenons, and they put Egyptian obelisks on top. They call it a steeple today, and they Christianized paganism. Um, and then you try to worship the Lord in there. That's why there's all kinds of perversion, sex perversion problems in these places. Uh, it's only going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. And uh, I mean, it's just, there's no point in even reading the articles. It's just, it's the same thing as the Catholic Church because, see, the Baptist Church, the Methodist, the Lutheran, the Episcopalian, whatever, they're all just daughters of the harlot mother, the Roman Catholic Church. And that's why I've said for many years get out of these things. Um, you'll never ever be able to really have a right relationship with the Lord in these church buildings. Um, the very best Christians that, that might not fall into sin or whatever else, you're just wasting your time there. Um, and you're still going to have, there's other people that are having all kinds of problems and you have to kind of keep your mouth shut. And you, it just, uh, I mean, I was raised in church buildings and after being involved with them for many, many, many years, um, they're just not worth continuing going to. Uh, you need to get out of these church buildings. Start worshiping with um, other like-minded individuals. If you can't find anybody, then uh, spend some time with the Lord. Okay, uh, don't go to church. All right, that's that's a, a concept that's not in Scripture. Um, you're in church all the time, so you worship the Lord seven days a week, 24 hours. Well, as long as you know you can't really worship Him when you're sleeping, but you know what I'm saying. Worship the Lord all the time. Uh, get rid of this mentality that, that worshiping God is some place where you have to go to and whatever else. If you want to fellowship with other Christians, that's absolutely fine. Get together, study the Bible. Um, and here's a here's a real radical concept. Or, you know, witness to people, lost people, and if they get saved, then you go and you, dis you disciple them. What a radical concept, you know. So, just wanted to make that video real quickly. Just, it's so sickening to, to see all this perversion and everything else, but not very surprising. 